In this video, we're going to take a look at how to reset the state of a React component. So this is also going to apply to view components. Um, it will be a different syntax overall, like your components are going to be in view format. But the same idea applies to view. I don't know if this applies to Angular or other frameworks, but the same thing will apply for both React and Vue. So, um, if you are a Vue developer, then you can use the same tactic. So what I have here is a stupid little application that asks which Ninja Turtle are you? Ask your favorite pizza. Are you a nerd? Are you a goody two shoes? Do you like to party? Are you a rebel? Some things that could be useful in determining which Ninja Turtle you are. And behind the scenes, it's doing this really complicated thing. And it's actually just, well, first let's find out what Ninja, Ninja Turtle we are. Cool, I'm Raphael. So obviously I put in fake data here. It doesn't really matter. And let's see what I'm outputting. So this is my form where I'm building the form and my app.js uh, behind the scenes. I am, oh yeah, I'm just getting a random turtle. Okay, cool. So not actually doing anything here, but um, once I get this on click of the button to find out, all it's doing is generating a random turtle. So now to reset state, here I'm loading my form, which is this form, and this form uh, contains all the state. I'm loading in state with the use state prop. So it's initializing all of these to blank fields, blank string in each of them. And so what I could do is, if I didn't have an easy way of resetting state, maybe I would pass a function in here that's like reset form, and then I would pass in some function and then I could trigger that when I want to reset the state on this click. Or I could do something like that. But then I would have to go through all of these set states and I would have to reset these all to the default value. And then what if this default value is not actually an empty string, it's actually like something really long. Then I'd be duplicating that string. So don't do that. That is gonna be more headache than you want. So what we can do here instead is we just need to pass a key. Okay, so this key can be like, um, maybe we'll set this in state. I did this a while ago and I can't remember exactly how I did it originally, but um, we can say const mm, form, or we can say like, uh, how many times they've actually done this this quiz. So let's say like quiz attempt num, and then we can say set quiz attempt num, and this is going to be use state. So this is kind of a crappy name for this variable because this is actually the key for um, this form. So let's actually just call it form key even though really it will be the number of attempts that they've done this quiz. So we've got form key and then we'll have set form key and we can set this as zero um, and key here. So we have to pass this in key and maybe we'll start this as like 10 or something. There can be some bugs here if you use the same key for this element as you're using for other elements that are under this element. So multiple children of the same element, they should all have different keys. So if you had like two of these my forms here and they had the same key, then you'd probably have some issues. So don't do that, be careful about that. But we'll just go ahead and do this and um, see what we get here. So we'll start with the key of 10 and the next time they on click show turtle, then we can just set this state to be one more. So let's say set form key and this is gonna be form key plus one. So every time they run the show turtle function, which is click every time they find out which turtle they wanna be, then it's going to reset all of the state 
well, that's going to be the side effect, but it's going to change this form key. And when this form key changes, then it's actually going to reset and basically remake this, this component entirely. So this will get rebuilt. So let's see how this happens in actuality. So let's be for real about this. What's your favorite pizza? Honestly, probably cheese. Are you a nerd? Yes, I am. Are you good at two shoes? Mm, kinda. Do you like to party? Yeah, just as much as the next guy, I guess. Are you a rebel? Not really, to be frank. Okay, cool. Now when we click find out, then it should reset it. Boom, I'm Raphael. Wow, I'm not a rebel though. Okay, so it did reset the form. That's good. And again, that's because we are adding in a new key. So really to reset a form state, all you have to do is change the key of that form and it will basically re it will basically force a re-render of the entire component, which means it will render it afresh with your default state that you've set. So this is a faster way of resetting state than like storing your default state in some variables and then calling some set to default, blah, 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 whatever. Um, but hopefully that helps out. And again, like I said, this is something you can do in React. You can also do it in Vue and it may be applicable to other frameworks like Angular or Svelte or whatever. But resetting the key or changing the key of, let's see, back in here, changing the key of a component will completely re-render that component and reset the state to its default state. Hopefully that helps out. If you liked it and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.